Restoring Sustainable Balance, One Community Weekly Progress Update number 171. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 171, July 3rd, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 25% of the written content for the Humility Lesson Plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purpose to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of humility is now 100% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the final 25% of the written part of the information lesson plan. We also completed the second 25% of the mind map for the humility lesson plan, bringing it to 50% complete, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. As part of the development of our food self-sufficiency transition plan, which features contributions from naturopathic Dr. Matt Marcherano, creator of the Coherent Model for Comprehensive Digestive Health, this week we compiled the sweet potato recipes as you see here. We will add them to our updated recipe strategy page. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This last week, the core team put another 10 hours into the behind the scenes revision for the Footers Foundations and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's focus was on the continued intensive read and dissection of Section 10, Construction of Stem Wall and Dome. We cross-referenced facts and confirmed the accuracy of content, grammar, sentence structure, continuity, and overall presentation. We'd say we are now 88% complete with this total update and rewrite behind the scenes. Related to this, Jessica Zinda, drafter and designer, also completed this final CAD drawing of the slider we'll be using to place and stabilize finishing nails for use between the different EarthBeg courses. Sal Rubio, industrial designer, also continued working on creating professional do-it-yourself Earthbag Village Murphy Bed Furniture Assembly instructions. What you see here is week 7 of this process and Sal's third version of exploring instructions for cutting the proper pieces, plus our notes for what will be version 4 of these instructions. Gao Young Du, construction project manager, also continued working on the materials schedules layouts for the Earthbag Village materials page. You can see week three of this work here, making the pricing sheet for wood doors and framing, electrical, and cast-in-place concrete. Ray Tribole, web developer and active duty U.S. sailor, also began moving the Earthbag Village Pod 1 communal vermiculture eco-toilet design details to their own page. You can see this work here. Brianna Johnson, interior designer, also continued evolving the renders for the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. What you see here is the first render for the central second floor patio area looking down. Dean Scholes, architectural designer, 
further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here's update 25 of his work that continued with exploration of a new and more accurate roof design as seen here. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, also continued with his third week of Photoshop work on the renders for the shipping container Village Pod 5. Here you see final versions of a rental room looking in, the open area behind the dining hall looking northwest, and one of the circulation areas. Upesh Sithala, interior designer, also transformed this initial render into this updated render for the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6 art room. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued updating the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book created by last year's intern team. What you see here are updated information and storyboard pages covering the tourism and event hosting with storyboard artwork compliments of Anna Carolina, industrial design and service design student. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working on the duplicate city center renders. This week, we created the dimensional detailed image for the mechanical room, placed glass sliding doors in their correct position in the dry storage area, and upgraded the rest of the storage walls to the glass texture. We also began brainstorming the design and dimensions for the root cellar. Additionally, we worked on the natural pool and spa area, moving the rinse station, and adding water fountains and lockers in two locations. Dipti Dondarkar, electrical engineer, also took the team's feedback from last week and started creating this more detailed spreadsheet for the lighting zones, lumens, and number of lamps needed. Hayes Lay, structural engineering student, also finished the first 50% of the city center first floor subframe loading calculations, which you can see here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This last week, the core team clarified colors and designs for the new seven sustainable villages icons you see here, and then created our first color template that will be used for all the web pages, informational materials, assembly instructions, interior design, and more. What one community is creating is one path to restoring sustainable balance to our planet and to our society, to our civilization, really. Our idea is if we can make sustainability easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own, and sustainable principles could become the norm on our planet instead of the current exception. What we want to do and what we are doing is open sourcing and free sharing all the foundations of sustainability to create this restoration of sustainable balance. And we've identified these foundations of sustainability as fitting into two different categories. And we see that if we can combine these two categories, physical sustainability, which is food, energy, and housing, with emotional sustainability, which we've identified as highest good education, highest good economics, uh, true earth stewardship, and fulfilled living practices. If we can put these together, we can create an evolution of sustainability that will provide a way of living that most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. And we can begin this process of restoring sustainable balance by giving people more of what they want, the way that they want it, in an open source fashion that's adaptable, malleable, and can be created in the way that individual people and groups would like to create it. Our goal is to create the foundation. And we know if we do this, we bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, focused on this intent of creating a world that truly works for everybody, the numbers show that we can do this within our lifetime. It's really just about a matter, or really a matter of reaching a tipping point of participation. And so easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough as a path to restoring sustainable balance for our planet is really what we're all about. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if everything that we're working on is something you'd like to be a part of, we're an open source, all volunteer, unpaid organization doing things because we believe in this, because we want to live this way, and we believe that a sustainable world that truly works for everybody is possible, and we invite you to join us. Get involved. Get involved with our project. Join us as a pioneer member, people that will move on to the property. Join us as a volunteer with expertise, volunteering your time behind the, behind the scenes, or just help us by sharing our information on social media. 
We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible, but reaching that tipping point of participation requires that our information get out there. And so we are on all the social media networks to make it easy, LinkedIn, Twitter, Reddit, Tumblr, Sue, Pinterest, all to make it as easy as possible, but we need help sharing it. So every like, every share is really makes a big difference in what it is that we're doing, and it's the easiest way to support our project. Of course, people say, well, what's the biggest, most complex? Like, if I really wanted to help, how could I do that? Well, we're still seeking large-scale funding. We're an all-volunteer, unpaid staff, as I already said, you know, but we're still seeking that large-scale funding to be able to purchase the property that we've been looking at for the last five years, to be able to put that property under the ownership of the 51C3 nonprofit organization that is one community, so that we can take our whole open source and developmental process to the next level. There's a lot of things we can't do because we can't do a site survey. We can't disclose the location. And so if you or somebody you know has the resources to help us get the property off the market and take it to the next level, that would be a big step in the right direction for us. Of course, the other thing, as I already said, is just sharing our information because it's all about participation. So if you want to get involved, there are we make it as easy as possible for people to participate because our whole all-volunteer organization is about growing and bringing people into the fold that believe in what it is that we're doing, want to be a part of what it is that we're doing, and making it as easy as possible to do that. The path to restoring sustainable balance is clear, and we've defined it in extensive detail on our website. Now it's just a matter of participation, bringing people together that want to help. And in so doing, we are building a model to simultaneously address all of the world's challenges because we see them as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And the model that we're creating, if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough, is designed to spread on its own. A self-replicating model of solutions that create additional solution-creating models. This is our plan for restoring sustainable balance. This is our plan for creating a world that works for everybody. And this is what I've dedicated my life to and the people on our team are working towards. Because we know that if enough people participate, and if we do make it easy enough, affordable enough, demonstrates attractive enough so that the idea can spread on its own, building one community is the first prototype of thousands, thousands of different iterations, thousands of different versions of highest good and sustainable living. That's replicable as either complete teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world, or it's all the individual components. We make those easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough. They will spread virally like everything else that's spread for the same reasons. And we can actually create a world that works for everybody within our lifetime. And that, we believe, is a dream worth investing our life in. It's the world that we want to live in. And so we invite you to join us. That's what we're up to. That's what we're doing. So thanks for following our progress. Thank you for the small donations that we get. The $5, the $10, $20 donations helped cover our, our operating expenses. Like I said, we're all unpaid nonprofit volunteers. So every dollar that we get goes into the expenses uh, related to and goes towards our open source creation process. Thank you for the likes, the shares, as I already said. And of course, if you'd like to see more details, if you'd like to see more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to One Community Updates and we'll add you to, to our newsletter list uh, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for following our progress. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thank you.